Well, the term bolt from the blue is kind of an interesting one. It makes it sound very dramatic. You have negative lightning that comes out of most thunderstorms. In fact, about 95% of thunderstorms or lightning flashes out of thunderstorms tends to be that negative strike. But the positive, those 5%, that's typically coming actually on the edge of the anvil of a thunderstorm. And you'll get that forming out there. You'll get the charge. It'll be positively charged on top of the anvil, negatively charged at the bottom of the thunderstorm. So you can still get negative lightning below the storm. The positive flash is coming then, and they'll actually seek out then, because you have such a strong positive charge at the edge of the anvil, they'll actually seek out the closest negative area. Sometimes that can be a few miles away. So it'll seem like the lightning flash just struck just out of the blue. And that's the terminology. It's kind of a hit or miss type of thing exactly how far you'll get lightning flashes away from the storm. But generally the rule of thumb is that at least several miles away you should be expecting lightning flashes out there, especially if it's a fairly strong thunderstorm. Well, the main difference is really just, typically it's just in the strength of the thunderstorm. With those positive lightning flashes or the bolts from the blue, you've got a much more robust thunderstorm out there that's growing pretty rapidly. And that's how you can have the separation of charges so detailed just within one thunderstorm cell. So you still have every, every form of lightning out there, but typically a thunderstorm would be much more vertically aligned. So you'll start to see a lot of meteorologists actually will look for positive strikes when they're looking for tornado potential and things like that, just because that's a sign that the thunderstorm is growing so rapidly. If you don't see lightning and you hear thunder, definitely just head inside if you can, just because that's the safest thing to do. If you see lightning flashes and it takes a few seconds to hear that thunder, you know it's a little bit far away, but remember, thunder still travels at the speed of sound, which is pretty fast. So. Again, a lot of those times, lightning's just a couple miles away, and as we were mentioning, again, you could get some of those bolts from the blue or things like that, and if you're unaware of the thunderstorm type, which most people generally would be, that's when you could be getting struck by lightning or something like that, by a bolt you really weren't expecting. Weatherbug schools provide lightning detection and also outdoor alerting solutions that help to keep students safe when conducting outdoor activities.